All right, so I just finished uh, cutting off the second uh, piece of pipe. This one, for some reason, was a little bit harder to do than the other one. So, yeah, I was real lucky. We can see the the inner tube piece. It's all messed up. Uh, it's very important to have that on there. It'll definitely protect your pipe. Um, you can see the uh, metal shavings on the ground. And uh, one thing that should go without saying, but I'm gonna say it anyway, is you always want to make sure you wear some goggles when you do this stuff. You know, um, I thought about it halfway through. I should have mentioned this, so I'm mentioning it now. Wear some goggles, people. Your eyes are important, all right? Or don't. My eyes will work. Um, so, as you can see, I removed this. Let's see how messed up that is, right? But look at the pipe perfect all right so it's definitely a good idea to do all right next I'm going to prepare my uh, drill to uh, uh, with the bit that I'm going to use to drill the holes all right so I'll be right back all right so for this next step I have decided to use the 5 16th drill bit all right I was trying to decide between this one and the 3 eighths drill bit. Uh, I decided to go with this one, give it a go, see how it sounds, and if I don't like it, then I'll go a little bit bigger. You know, you can always go bigger, you just can't go smaller. All right, so let's, uh, let's get this mounted and uh, going. If your bit gets stuck, then what it probably needs is a little bit of oil. I'm just going to add a little bit of oil on the tip. Remember, you're cutting metal, so it gets very hot. Be very careful when doing this. Take your time. There's the first hole. All right. Show it to you guys. All right. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that to this one, and then to the one on the bottom as well. All right. I'm sure, you guys don't wanna sit around just watching me do this. So I'll be back.
can take a better look at the result. There it is. Nice and clean. All right. All right, everybody, so here we are again. Now, if you recall, the last time that we did this, the inside um, sound was right at around 60 to 65. So we'll see. All right, it's about the same. And then when we turned on the bike, it was at 80. Yeah, around 80 from this distance. And then it was back to 65 at 25 feet away. So let's turn this uh, baby on and see what she does. Right at around 92 to 90 to 95. You can definitely tell the difference. There it idled down. Still at 92, so we'll test it at 25 feet. Seventy six decibels. So there you go. That is what it sounds like with the stage one modification. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I know it was kind of scary for me at first to go through it, uh, mainly because you know it's a brand new bike, didn't want to mess anything up. But you know, once you get going, I mean, you have no other choice but to finish it, and uh, you know what? I'm I'm happy with it. So uh, I might go to full deep baffle, but for now, I think this is uh, good. All right. So uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time.